Welcome viewers. Welcome to us this hour. God bless you all as you're joining me on this ministration today. Viewers, you can subscribe, share, put a like button and give uh, this message to other people. It's going to be a blessing to them and to you. Lord, prepare us at sanctuary pure and holy tried and through we thanksgiving a bitter glory sanctuary for you there is none holy as our God, amen. There is none beside thee, neither livered anyone like our God. There is none holy as a God. It can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus, this same forever. Amen. He can never, never fail. Your. He can never, never fail. Amen. He can never, never fail. Jesus, this same forever. Remember, right, you joining me on this platform today. This is Reverend Esther. And uh, I am so delighted to bring this message to you today and let the Holy Spirit speak through the servant of the Lord. And I, as I wish everyone today success, I wish you a uh, promotion, I wish you anointing, I wish you perfection, I wish you healing. And I ask that any powers of personality, any kind of thing that is within and around you that is against the will of God, any contradictory spirits, we bind the activity, we cancel them in Jesus' name. So today we're quickly going to go into the world, the world that is talking about uh, favor and the success of God. Favor and the success of God. There was one person in the Bible that we actually appreciate much is Daniel. Uh, Daniel was a man of God. He had friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And of course, uh, when Nebuchadnezzar actually knew that these ones are full of wisdom and they love God, they like to minister, they go to their window to pray. Competently, you know, Daniel loved to pray. And guess what happened? The Lord sent angel for him because that's why when he decided to fast and pray for 21 days, his prayer was kind of being blocked. The God was still there for him. Now you can go to Daniel chapter 1 verse 17, which is our main text today. And uh, 17 to 20, Exodus chapter 31, verse 2, 3, and 6. Now when we're talking about, you know, the uh, talking about progress, we're talking about uh, fulfillment, God's calling on yeah. And when we're talking about God's uh, anointing, when we're talking about, you know, moving ahead in life, when we're talking about breaking yokes and delay, there's something, there's very something that is very, very common here. What is common? What is common here is that we see God that is a success himself. Now, Jesus Christ was, you know, bombarded with questions by the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the rabbi, and everybody around him. You know, they were just throwing every kinds of question around him, but he's still not moved. He said, yes, I'm going to do the kingdom, the work of my father, just as he has directed me to do. And that's what exactly Daniel was doing. Daniel had a calling on him. He became successful. Daniel, of course, was envied and thrown into the lion's den, but he, he survived it again. Brethren, uh, today we want to look at something that is very, very vital here, it's for, something that is very, very important here. We're talking about how the grace of God was with Daniel. But then if ordinarily he wasn't a child of God, he lives any kind of life, he's been thrown in that lion's den, he will be eaten afresh. But guess what? But because the glory of God was ever with him, because of the mercy of God was ever with him, it was made successful. The Lord, you know, actually had him through. The Lord had his back and you know what's happened so it is not maybe how anointed you are it is not maybe how powerful you are but how available you are 
And I pray that each one of us are available to do the work of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So your availability wins the heart of God. Your availability give an account, a good account to the Lord. So there's something here that this thing does not, you know, bother if maybe your race, your creed, your color, your tallness, you know, where you come, what background you come from. It's only, the Bible said, in short, the race is not even for the sweep, not for the battle to the strong leader, yet the bread to the weak, not even to the richest men, or understanding, not even to the favor of men, or maybe the skill. But it said, to the, it said time and chance happening to them all. So relax. One thing that we know here is that we know that when God comes to the throne of his grace, guess what? Things work easier. Now, Abel does not need to prove to God that he loved God. His sacrifice alone he brought to God, you know, spoke volume for him. And then when Cain then had that, you know, um, uh, kind of uh, uh, an attestation that he, he has done good, guess what happened? He became so angry because God was able to affirm and also give credit to Abel and then Cain became so jealous. So now we're not going to digress from our topic today, you know, mainly when we're talking about being, you know, uh, the grace of God being with you, you know, being successful, just like Daniel, as well, which is the main theme of the message today. I pray that you and I will be successful in whatever we do and how we do it in Jesus name. Now. You know, there's this word that say, how can a man guide his way? How can a man actually meditate in his way? Psalm 19 verse 19, I said, I have more understanding than all my teachers. And he said, uh, and more testimonies. I even the meditations of the word of God. And that's exactly what Daniel had. You know, if Daniel was not persevering in his prayer, fasting and prayer, if Daniel was not persevering, trying to reach out to people, and I guess Daniel would have had a problem. And so, Daniel tried his best as much as he could to make sure that he tried, you know, to reach out to the people and even to kings. His gift to make it. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs said, the gift of a man will make a way for you. I pray that your gift, whatever thing that is, your handwork, your skill, you know, your career, whatever thing you're doing perfectly well, you're going to stand in the presence of kings and queens in Jesus' name. Now, the book of First Kings, chapter 3, verse 12, says, Behold, I have done according to thy word. I have given thee a wise man, and understanding her, so that there was none like thee before, and before thee, neither there shall be any that will arise up before thee. You know, this word came so powerfully. You know, addressing it to um, the three Hebrew boys, and, you know, telling them how this wisdom came. Wisdom does not come anyhow. You have to tarry in the presence of God. You have to ask God favor. You have to just move ahead in life. You have to be divinely connected. And so it does not matter, you know, the stuff from left, right, and center. What matters most is your relationship with God. So, you know, and God, you know, emphatically spoke something here. He said in Psalm 138, verse 8, he said, The Lord will perfect that which that consigneth you and I, and then his mercy, O Lord, endure forever. You know, these days, brethren, offer true. Now I can see where I, you know, I see these young ministers coming up this day crying for mercy. Brethren, of course, our righteousness, the Bible said it's like a field of rock, the book of Exodus, you know, 60, uh, 40, it said it. You know, we'll try as much as we can to measure up. You know, we sometimes, you know, when we speak to light, it's like maybe we're being judgmental, but we are not being judgmental. We're just trying to see how we can measure up because the Bible says you can even do more than me. That's what Jesus Christ was saying. He said, even your standard can be more than me. I pray that our standard we can, you know, be more than the measure God has put for us and also the standard he has provided for us. So this one thing that is very, very, you know, factual here. When the grace of God and the mercy of God God overshadow you when he goes ahead of you things will be successful so you're going to say this prayer after me say oh lord my father let your grace oh god father be sufficient for me let your grace and your mercy be sufficient for me let your grace and your mercy be sufficient for me in the mighty name of jesus christ you know what in Acts chapter 2 verse 47 he said praising god having favor with all the people and said the lord added to the church daily such as should be saved you know you praise god you thank him you call upon the name of the Lord. You ask for his mercy. You receive him wholeheartedly. You lift up the hands of praise all the time. 
You, you just lift him up, you know. Father, we thank you because your mercy endure forever. You know, you lift the hand of holy hand into the grace of God, into the tabernacle of the Lord, because you know that he's coming down to deliver you and your family. And that's why we look unto him as the author and the finisher of our faith. So we're going to repeat this prayer. Say, so, oh Lord, my Father, resolve, Father, take away every body, every form of evil that is fired against me and my family. Roll them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Roll it away, roll it away, roll it away, roll it away. In Jesus' name we pray. There's something God, you know, cherishes most. Do you, think, do you know what God cherishes most? What he cherishes most is that he wants you to come to his house. He wants you to lift up a holy hand of praise all the time. He wants you to seek him, you know, seriously, you know, from the bottom of your heart. He said, I have more understanding. How can you have understanding? The understanding you have is to seek the face of God daily. Brethren, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Put a like button on it. Give to other people so that it can be a blessing to them. Your blessing might be tied to this, you know, uh, message. God bless you as you do that. So, the Bible said, guess what? He speaks to us in so many things. You can go to Numbers chapter 12. Now, he speaks to Moses face to face. He says, sometimes I can speak to you in a shadow. But guess what? If I want to reveal myself to you, I reveal myself physically to you. So, I say, oh Lord, perfect everything that concerns me. Any man or woman that is trying to pull down, you know, my relationship with you, pull down my righteousness with you, consciously and unconsciously, in free more physical, we bind the activity in Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, my Father, release also God from every spirit of confusion and error. Ah, every spirit of confusion and error, release us by from, from all from release us from it in Jesus' name. Every spirit of confusion and error, release us, release me and my family from it in Jesus' name. Release the oasis from it in Jesus' name. Say, let every blessings of us that has been confiscated by the principalities and the powers of the darkness, by the monetary spirit go, by evil powers, by the voodoo, by evil, every use, every pronouncement, judgment against me and my family. We bind it with scatter, we bind it with scatter, we bind it with scatter. That's why we ask for mercy. Lord, let your mercy reign upon our life. God. So then, regarding success and favor, just like Daniel had typically in the book of number um, Daniel chapter 9, I want you to read it, you know, as a take-home scripture. Please, you know, for you to get that success, we can strive to be like Christ itself. Just like Daniel strived. Even at Old Testament, he was able to recognize the presence of God. He was able to ask God to oh God, if it is not your way, my way, I cannot walk this path alone. Because guess what? There are tons of things, God, that are lying on the way. There are all kinds of bad animals on the way. I don't want to be eaten, oh God. I want you to lead my path, God, Father, guide my path in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, God, let every blessing of mine that has been confiscated by every Satan, every ancestral wickedness, God, by every evil old witch, God. Father, let them roast to ashes, God, let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my Father, give us peace, God, as we go to our bed, God. Father, we shall be an overcomer in our dream too, in Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, my Father, anoint me to be an overcomer. Anoint us to be an overcomer. I see somebody, you know, being promoted. I see the Lord healing people. I see the Lord open the door of success. That door that was shut against you, God has opened it for you in Jesus' name. I see God lifting up every evil power of darkness that is rich against you in Jesus' name. I see the Lord is so baptizing you and blessing you abundantly. Father, we take it because of harder prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Brethren, please don't forget. Make sure you go back again and read the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 9, read the whole chapter, and Daniel chapter 1, 17 to 20. Please read the whole chapter. And then Psalm 119. And then the Bible says, How can a man Guide his way. How can a man walk with the Lord? Accept the Lord. Accept God by being with him. If the Lord is not with you, I bet you that world is so evil us now. There's a power of darkness raging against the church of God. But I pray God Almighty will make us to straight scale through in Jesus' name. God bless you and see you next time. Pastor Esther, bye for now. Love you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share it to other people on all platforms and your blessings will certainly be released to you ceaselessly. Put a like button on it, girl, and make up comments, especially if somebody that wants us for us to do a dream interpretation for them, you can put it on the platform. God bless you, Reverend Esther. Bye for now. See you next week. God bless you.